Not a bad view, huh? Really brings home the point of having a nice piece of land. If you, if you start with a nice piece of land, you're really motivated to build a nice house in order to keep up with it. And wouldn't, wouldn't it be a tragedy to have a vinyl covered something or another up here? Yeah, I, we agree. So hi, I'm Noah Bradley and welcome to Handmade House TV episode 12. Today we're talking about views. There's a lot of things to keep in mind when you're when you're purchasing a property that you you want you want to you want there's a lot of things you want in a in a in a piece of land. Uh, and we're going to go through all of those uh, characteristics. Uh, literally, they could fill an encyclopedia, all the things you look for in a, in a property. And one of those is, is a view. If, if you're picking a, a, a property, if you want to build in an area that is known for mountain views, it's, it's important for you just for the resale factor of considering making sure that you buy a property with good mountain views or you're going to have a hard time, a harder time selling that property when the time comes. That, that people moving into the area, they're going to be moving into the area, chances are for those mountains, they're going to be looking for a property with mountain views. And if you choose a piece of, uh, of, of land without the mountain views, then, then you're going to be pushed to the back of the line as far as people seeing and you can actually lose money on it. So when you buy a property with mountain views, with a view of pastoral views, uh, whatever it might be here on this particular site that we're at uh, we're in we're just in a wooded area there's not a whole lot of views but there is a little bit of seasonal uh, views when the leaves are off of the trees uh, so there is the factor of, of, of buying a land you're gonna pay a premium for property with views but you get that money back and probably a bonus on it when it comes time to sell but a lot of people, all of us, uh, most of us, I should say, when we're buying a piece of land, we're not, we're not thinking about the next guy. We're thinking about our own enjoyment of the property. So it's easy to overlook that aspect of it. So let's look at it from our aspect of, of, of our own enjoyment. And that is that there's, there's so much to be said for, uh, for having a view from your home, for uh, it's it's meditative. It it draws you outside of the house. That's one of the the characteristics of a handmade house is outdoor living. Uh, uh, by the way, if you want those twelve characteristics, just go to the Handmade House Academy page, and there's a there's a print out there that you can a free PDF download that'll tell you all twelve of the characteristics. But outdoor living is one of them. That, that we don't want to spend our entire life living inside of the house. We want to be drawn out. And one of the things that can draw us out is, is a view. Uh, and, but, but also I wanted to, to, to relay to you, and I learned this lesson from uh, a gal named Cindy Thede, who did a series of books on log, uh, log homes. Uh, one of them in particular was, uh, was log, uh, hand, hand, hands-on log homes. Uh, in that particular book, there's three of my projects in there. And, uh, but anyway, she not only did the, the wonderful writing for the book, but she also did the photography of the book. And she's the young lady that taught me uh, the, the virtue of not only building a home with a view, but also building a home that is the view, that becomes the view. Uh, much much like this is this this home this this land is 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 a nice wooded lot here, uh, but nonetheless the real draw when you are here, your your eyes are drawn to this this beautiful little little cabin, and and that's what it's about. You're you're improving the property. You're improving the land. That that uh, that the view goes on beyond it. That you can take a picture of the cabin. And the view goes on to on the other side of it. That it's not just a view from the front porch, but there is a view of the cabin and and the view from the front porch. So uh, the, the one thing that I I really would would caution you all on and 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 everyone on, and that is that we don't want to ruin the view. And uh, there are lots of temporary structures that one can put up. Uh, a camper, a trailer, a mobile home, what have you, that can be brought in to live in while we're building a, 
uh, an attractive home or whatever, but we, what we do need to keep in mind that we don't want to ruin the view. And really the only way that you can permanently spoil the countryside, uh, the landscape, is by putting up a brand new home that does not belong in the view in the countryside. I've, I've seen it over and over again where people will pick a what is what would be an attractive home in a city, urban, a suburban environment, and they come out and they put it on their property and they absolutely love it, uh, but all of the neighbors are just cringing uh, because it looks out of place and that the beautiful countryside is now spoiled for decades to come until this new monstrosity decays and goes away. So, so please, when you buy your land, look for a view and make sure that your home is attractive enough that you are improving the view of your property as well. Okay, that's, uh, that's probably it for today. Uh, thank you for joining in with Handmade Houses. I did want to thank uh, three more members, uh, three more people that have signed up with the Handmade House Academy. Mark Milner, Rob, and Betty Bryan. Thank you so much for joining up with the Academy and thank you for your kind words of support about it. Uh, we appreciate you so much. So uh, that's it for today. We look forward to seeing you next Wednesday on Handmade House TV.